Hey everyone, Ham here. Today I am following up with another benchmark video on the RTX 4090 in VR. This time we're looking at Dirt Rally 2. This is following on from the Assetto Corsa Competizione benchmark video that went up yesterday. So if you're not checked that out, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So, uh, first of all, in terms of what we're going to be checking out, it's going to be the Reverb G2 again on maximum render resolution and it's at 90 hertz. And as with the previous video, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison to the 3090 and the 4090. In terms of the graphic presets today, I'm going to run it on medium and ultra. So medium was the uh, usual setting that I ran the 3090 on and ultra is obviously it maxed out so we can see a side-by-side -side comparison. After the side-by-side -side comparison, I'll also look at two wet tracks, one in daytime and one at night. And as before, I'll just do the analysis at the end and give you my thoughts. All right, on with the benchmarks. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 100, six left of a small crest, 60, small crest, 50, four points of a dip, 70, three left of a crest, 70. Long crest, continues over 100, a jump, it's a six right of a dip. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 100, 6 left of a small crest, 60, small crest, 50, 4 points of a dip, 70, 3 left of a crest, 70, long crest, continues over 100, a jump, it's a 6 right of a dip, Titans 4, extra, extra long, 50, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. 50, three right of a crest, long tightens, into four left, tightens, turn square left. Keep right of a 60, two left of a crest, tightens. Into three right of a crest, into five left, and two right long, tightens of a crest, into three left. And keep right of a bump, into four left long, opens of a 60. Into six left of a crest, two right tightens, don't cut. Into three left long. Into four right of a crest bump. And keep left of a crest jump. Into four right. Sixty. Five left long, tightens three. To keep right of a jump. Into three left long, opens of a crest. And keep right. Into four left of a crest. 30 of a bumps, 4 left long, to keep right of a 30, 5 left, 5 right of a bumps, 5 left of a jump, 5 right long, opens of a crest, bad camber, into 4 left long of a crest, 50, 3 left, tightens of a crest, don't cut, into 6 right, and 6 left through narrow gate, 30, Four left of a crest, into four right, tightens of a crest, and through gate. Five left of a crest. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Six right of a crest. Into six left, tightens five, sixty. Six right, opens, two hundred. Four left, tightens of a crest. 80. Five right long of a crest. 60. Caution, five left, tightens of a crest, keep in. 80. Five right of a crest, opens, keep middle of a crest, into five left. And six right. Let's keep middle of a big jump. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Twenty. Flat right of a crest, 130. Turn unseen, four left long. Into six right of a crest, 100. Crest. 
least. A three left long, 40. Three left long, opens over crest. Into six right. 50. Six left of a jump. 70. Three right. Titans of a crest. 100. So first up, we'll take a look at the 3090 performance on medium settings. And you can see it ran quite nicely with the average frame time around eight milliseconds, way below the required 11 milliseconds here and a good amount of GPU utilization. So this was the graphics preset that I tended to use when playing Dirt Rally 2 on the Reverb G2 on 3090. I then increased it to the ultra setting uh, just so we've got a baseline compared to the 1490 and we can see here um, the card is being utilized again it's not actually maxing out but it's not far from it some high usage just at the chart here uh, but overall you can see the average uh, frame time is around about 13 milliseconds so way above the 11 milliseconds here if we then take a look at the 1490 on the medium preset you can actually see we're way below the 11 milliseconds and we're actually slightly CPU bottlenecked uh, and that's because um, the GPU is only like 45% utilized uh, so with an average frame time of 4 milliseconds that's the equivalent of a frame rate of about 250 FPS so I'd expect to see this uh, happening when you've got a frame time that's so, so low but this is on uh, the VR medium preset so no problems there whatsoever and there'd be no need to run it on such a low level. Uh, it does mean if you had a very high refresh headset such as the Valve Index you could probably run this at 144 hertz no problem. Okay next is the 4090 on the Ultra preset and as you can see we're still way below the 11 milliseconds here with a average frame time of about 6.5 milliseconds so this is really quite an impressive jump from the 3090 here if you work out the uh, equivalent fps this would be around about 154 i think i've cal calculated it to be and we've got a good amount of uh, gpu utilization here so actually it's only averaging about 65 percent so there's a lot more uh, performance on that setting this is on the dry track if we now jump over to the wet benchmarks you can see we're now around eight and a half milliseconds so a bit more utilization uh, with on the high 70s in terms of gpu usage but still we're way below the 11 milliseconds so that is quite an impressive uh, increase in performance these low spikes here i think is where i've started the benchmark and there's probably been a 2d scene uh, between the two stages of the track where I've not restarted it so we can ignore those low spikes there so to sum up in terms of the performance difference between the 3090 and 4090 in Dirt Rally 2 you can see on medium that ran fine on the 3090 both hitting 90 fps quite easily so it is actually a calculation of 125 fps if you uh, use the frame time and on the 4090, it was a massive 250 FPS. So a two times performance improvement there. And as I mentioned before, if you're running a different headset such as a Valve Index, you should be able to uh, run at higher refresh rates. If you step it up to the ultra setting, the average FPS was around 54. Using the uh, frame time, that would have given us a, a uh, calculated FPS of 76, so still below the uh, 90 hertz. But compare that to the 4090, we're still getting a very low 6.5 milliseconds, which gives us a theoretical FPS of 154, which is an even greater improvement over the uh, medium setting on the 3090. And then finally, if we just look at the rain, um, the frame time goes up a little bit to 8.6 milliseconds giving us a theoretical 116 fps which on the reverb g2 at that resolution is quite impressive so compare that to the uh, ultra standard dry setting on the 3090 that's still a 53 percent improvement in the wet versus driving on ultra 
in the dry on the 3090. So very impressive performance scores there. In terms of what it's actually like to drive, I was really happy. Uh, the benchmarks went on a lot longer than I intended to because I just got carried away with playing the game. Well, it's definitely a lot of fun. So in, in summary, I'd say if you're a Dirt Rally 2 driver and you play this in VR, with the 4090, you can pretty much run anything on all, all the graphics turned, turned to maximum on the Reverb G2, which is absolutely fantastic. So there you go. That's the benchmarks for Dirt Rally 2 on the 4090 in VR on the HP Reverb G2. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.